When we talk about automotive excellence and groundbreaking engineering, one country that has put themselves on the map for that sort of thing is Germany. Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen, iconic and giants of the automotive world. There's the Autobahn, the Nürburgring, Hockenheim Ring, and not to mention some of the greatest and most iconic racing drivers of all time call it home. Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, Nico Rosberg, and who could forget, the late Sabine Schmitz. So with all of this automotive and racing enthusiasm, we need to ask the question, why doesn't Formula One race there? We have in the past, at various racetracks, and on many different configurations. But Formula One has a long history with Germany, with the race being held at the Nürburgring in Formula One's second ever season. So why not in 2022? The tracks are there, and one was used as recently as 2020, being the Nürburgring. Fans are just about begging for a return to the Hockenheim Ring as well, which hosted one of the most entertaining and chaotic races I have ever seen. But more on that soon. Now, I want to keep this video kind of recent. I have previously made a video covering the history of the Hockenheim Ring and its infamous forest layout, which I'll put in the cards and in the description. In 2006, it was announced that starting from 2007 until 2010, Formula One in Germany would be shared between the two racetracks. It was kind of the best of both worlds in a way. Imagine the Japanese Grand Prix alternating between Suzuka and Fuji. It's a good way to have two quality racetracks on display and a genuinely nice way for two groups of organisers to share a huge event for their country. The only small dispute here was with the naming rights. The Hockenheim Ring was the German Grand Prix and the Nürburgring had to settle for the European Grand Prix name. I really did like this arrangement in a way. The Nürburgring, even though the race was run on the GP layout and not the traditional Nordschleife, for obvious and logical safety reasons, just the word Nürburgring being involved with Formula One felt so right. It's such a German icon. Just the thought of Formula One racing right next to arguably the most insane layout a car can drive on was so cool. In 2010, the race was set to happen at the Hockenheim Ring as per the arrangement. There was a potential problem which put the event in jeopardy. The track owners and city weren't prepared to pump more money into the event, but a deal was struck in September 2009 which would see the Hockenheim Ring stay on the calendar until 2018. The Nürburgring would continue to share the event until 2013 and the circuit would be under new ownership in 2014. Unfortunately, a deal was unable to be made to continue with the arrangement and the future of Formula One ever going back to the circuit was in limbo. The Hockenheim Ring stuck to holding the race every second year and so in 2015 and 2017, Germany would be absent from the Formula One calendar. Formula One in Germany would be in doubt after 2018 though, as the contract was set to end. But luckily, another year was added and 2019 was set to get the green light. The race in 2019, in my opinion, is a legitimate reason why Formula One fans want Hockenheim back on the calendar. The race was utter carnage, with wet weather catching out even the best drivers. It was a momentous occasion for Mercedes, who celebrated their 125th year in motorsport with a special livery, but the weekend couldn't have been any worse for the team. The infamous drag strip caused problems for the drivers and some of the DNFs in this race were just bizarre. Max Verstappen finished P1, Sebastian Vettel P2 after starting from the back of the grid, and P3 went to Danny Kvyat in his Toro Rosso. This race was something else and I highly recommend you go and watch it in full if you haven't already. The reason this race is relevant is because it's the last Formula One race at the Hockenheim Ring we have seen, for now at least. The circuit stock instantly skyrocketed among a lot of Formula One fans, and for that reason, people think it deserves its place on the calendar. The bigger and bigger the Formula One calendar gets, means it's more and more unlikely that there will be space for the German Grand Prix to return. Lately, when I have seen the official announcements of new races being held, there is always one comment under that post. What about Hockenheim? There was no deal for a race in 2020, but due to the cancellation of many races, the Nürburgring made a return to Formula One 
and it was pretty nice to see. But why didn't the Hockenheim Ring make its way back on the calendar for 2021 and 2022? Well, it's a pretty simple answer. Just like every other video I make on these former F1 events, money. When Michael Schumacher dominated the sport, Germany's eyes were on the racing phenomenon. Sponsors wanted to get involved, a huge broadcasting deal was struck, and it was just a big thing. According to Forbes, in 2006, 232,000 people attended the event over the weekend. This was Michael's last season in Formula 1, but it was a tough title battle against Fernando Alonso. Fast forward to 2014, attendance fell to just 94,000 people, a huge decrease from its prime years. Now, I'm not saying Michael Schumacher is the sole reason for this, but I'm sure it affected it a little bit. Mercedes stepped in as a major sponsor of the event, and it did help. But when a Formula 1 event begins to fall, sometimes it's just too difficult to save. In terms of a return to Germany, Stefano Domenicali has reportedly made it known that he wants Germany to return, but doesn't believe the organisers are interested in holding future races. Nürburgring officials say that they are ready to hold talks, and are definitely interested. I think the race in 2020 was a good test of the waters for the circuit, but the Nürburgring has made it clear that it must be on economically sensible terms. I interpret this as better value hosting fees. It seems like the Nürburgring officials want a long-term deal and something that isn't going to run into any sort of financial issues in the future, which makes total sense. Maybe they don't want to find themselves in a position where they have to settle for a race every two years anymore. I can fully respect that. It's a similar deal for the Hockenheim Ring. Money is the deciding factor. I personally hope we see a return to at least one of these circuits. The calendar seems to be growing more and more each year, and I think that kind of destroys my hope. I just think Germany is such an iconic country for motorsport. So historic, and correct for Formula 1 to be there. Formula 1 is also looking at a return to Africa, and Domenicali has even hinted at a return to Korea. The demand to hold a Formula 1 race is huge right now, and I genuinely think we might see some battles between different circuits around the world fighting for their opportunity to hold a race. With Formula 1 growing every year, and the amount of fans that are getting into the sport, having a Formula 1 race in your country is just massive right now. In fact, it may never have been bigger. So please let me know, if you could pick one track in Germany to host the German Grand Prix, what would it be? The Hockenheim Ring, the Nürburgring, somewhere else? Please let me know in the comments section. I really look forward to reading them. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. It's always fun over there, so go check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.